At dawn, the migrants covered in blankets stretch for blocks. And tonight, El Paso is under a state of emergency because city officials say they don't have enough resources to handle this. Are you desperate? I'm very desperate, Maria Angel from Venezuela tells us, next to her 10-year-old daughter. I don't have anything to eat. I don't have anywhere to sleep, she says. Today, we saw that desperation as migrants here scrambled for food and water. We were here several months ago, and there appear to be many more migrants now. The difference is striking. This group extends all the way around this church for several city blocks. And tonight, from Texas to Arizona to California, some border officials expect the daily flow of migrants will double when the COVID border restriction known as Title 42 is lifted a week from tomorrow. President Biden under pressure. Republicans arguing his lax border policies spark the record number of illegal border crossings, while migrant advocates say his upcoming deployment of 1,500 active duty troops to help Border Patrol with administrative duties sends the wrong message. Why not send 1,500 attorneys? That's the necessity here. Why not send 1,500 social workers? Other critics here say the troops are too little, too late. I have lived here for over 38 years, and I've never seen anything like this in El Paso. Claudia Rodriguez is a business owner in El Paso who does not think the White House has done enough to prepare for the lifting of Title 42. We have people sleeping on our streets. This is unsustainable. It's not normal. Please help us, and enough with the politics of it. Meanwhile, the Biden administration is touting a deal with the Mexican government that will allow U.S. authorities to deport migrants from certain countries back across the border. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.